So today you're going to finish our overview of the top 10 IRA mistakes, how to avoid IRA tax traps. So let's get started. All right. Now, Freeman, let's start with mistake number six, which covers overpaying fees and loads on IRAs, 401ks, and 403B plans. Hmm. Exactly what are fees and loads, and how are they taken out of our accounts? Okay, that's a good question here. Uh, let me refer to this uh, Wall Street article here, uh, where we talk about the hidden cost of mutual funds. All right, the average expense ratio for most mutual funds is 1.3%. However, there are undisclosed costs. Maybe the, uh, the participant or who, the owner of the, of the um, mutual fund is totally unaware. Case in point, let's look at, um, let's say a 50-year-old. Okay. All right, he has $300,000, uh, which he is planned for his retirement. And uh, he says, well, I'll wait till I'm age 65 and then retire. Now, I'm going to use an expense charge of 2%. All right. Okay. Now, if he got, uh, before the expense uh, of 2% is applied, let's get 5% per year. All right. And let's see what happens. We're going to roll forward uh, 15 years. Now we're ready for distribution. Okay. Now, I'm going to refer to this 2% because if there's a 2% charge, all right, 15 straight years, uh, the balance, or I should say the amount of the income producing assets, is about $460,000. Now, without that 2% fee, it would be well over $627,000, all right? So the, and that's just a 2% fee. Now, there's a fees, there are fees and loads maybe that's not, under, uh, that's not disclosed. That can add up between 1 and 3%. So uh, an amazing thing about this fee uh, is not getting any interest during that time. Now, I want to g give a little analogy here. Okay. Uh, if you have $500,000 in income producing assets, Carol, here's how that works. That is $10,000 per year with a 2% uh, fee on that asset. Now, suppose you have 600000 That means that's $12,000 that's taken out of your account. So really 100% uh, of your income producing asset is not working because of the fees and loads that are applied to your account. And this goes on and on and on. Now, as I fast forwarded, I talked about the gentleman taking his uh, retirement. Yes. Uh, all right, excuse me, assuming that he only has 467000 because the fees were coming out, uh, was extracted from that account over the 15-year period. And he wishes to take 5% out and create an income. But I don't know whether or not that would be an income that he can, cannot possibly outlive because now we're extracting 7%, the fee plus the 5% that he's requested. So what does that, what does that do? These fees erode that nest egg. Will that money last? So uh, I would suggest that you inquire, all right, not only with your prospectus, we're not giving investment advice, but look at your, your prospectus, you'll see that the 1.3% the is the base fee, but there may be other hidden charges, uh, transfer charges. Um, Buying and selling securities uh, is, um, it, it, it's, there's risk, as I mentioned earlier in, in, in previous segments, but if you look at the monies that are extracted from your nest egg over time, it's significant. It's almost like that $10,000 to come out of that asset, and you're not benefiting for, from it, but that person may be on vacation using that $10,000 per year. And I'm wondering if we're more aware of it now also because when the 401ks and the 403b started, uh, a lot of the employers were doing matching funds. Mm -hmm. But now they're not matching. The employer is exposed to all the load and fees, it seems. Uh, they impact him more directly. Exactly. Well, we're going to talk about employer-sponsored retirement okay. accounts, the TSPs, the 401ks, uh, the 403bs. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I'll refer to the employer-sponsored retirement okay. accounts as qualified plans, okay. right. pre-tax dollars. Uh, the non-qualified is after-tax dollars. Uh, you, your taxes are paid, and you purchase a CD or a money market account. Uh, you have a savings account. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the, I just want to preface uh, the subject prior to us getting there. Okay. Um, fees do uh, are extracted from those employer-sponsored mm -hmm. retirement accounts. 